Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue. That's Toledo, Ohio, 4361-7419-531-6097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com. Then JC's Comics and More, yeah, JC's Hot Comics and More at Hotmail.com. Uh, this is Tuesday. This is the last stuff to do. Here we got Berserker Volume 5. I've got one of these for sale if you're interested in this. Uh, at Dark Horse, I noticed that they had their original solicitation, then they had resolicitations. So, as retailers, you might have, as I did with this $50 book here, ordered it twice. I noticed on my FOCs there was a lot of stuff that I was ordering twice. I had to go back and cut. So be aware of that. But we've got that there for the uh, shop steward. Shop steward's got this waiting for him. See what's on the other side here. Another one of these. Certainly I've got air. There's my other berserk. Volume 5. Let's see, we've got G-Fan. I forgot G-Fan was in here. And that G-Fan is nice and effed up. So that's one that's going to be called in as a damage. Then I've got a couple other ones. These G-Fans also come up with, they're cool, but these posters, this is King Kong versus Godzilla, these posters are very easily... Uh, to be lost. It's very easy to lose, and lose these things. Let's see, we've got a poster for the new Walking Dead. Not the new series that they're going back and they're doing a colorized version, which... What do you guys think of this? Colorized version of the Walking Dead. Miss Historical Independent Series the second time. I don't know about that. I am ordering them, but I'm not ordering them in the large quantities. I, I wouldn't expect fans to rebuy the series in color. If uh, you want to do that, Kirkman, if you guys want to do that image, just do it in the damn trade paperbacks, for Christ's sakes. So I am not ordering large quantities on those. Plus, they're doing multiple covers, too. To me, that is just them just trying to bend... Bend their fan base over a chair. We've got this Ice Cream Man Quarantine Comic Special. This here, I think a lot of very under-ordered, I would have to think. Very under-ordered book. What's, what's eBay say? And here we've got the Rise of Ultraman 1. This is the action figure variant. I think I know somebody's going to be, he's going to be all over that like, like a hobo on a ham sandwich. Here we've got cover C of Robin Hood Justice. Robin Hood Justice number three. Green Hornet number two. Cover A. Again, the Walgreens guy, your copies will be set aside for you. You'll have your, your copies, Mr. Walgreens. Or maybe it's People's Drugs, or is it Lane's? It's Lane's Drugs, right? It's Lane's. So, it was in the rest of this box here. More copies of Green Hornet 2. Oh, look. Sorry I'm late. It's Magnificent Ms. Marvel number 14. There you go. They're still pushed along with that. Here we've got Ravencroft number 5. Of course, there's got to be more than just three copies somewhere. But the series now has come to an end. And I'm sorry, if Misty Knight had all that coming towards her, she would have that, that arm of hers ripped off and shoved someplace you don't want to know where. This is Fantastic Four Empire Fallout 4, number one. This is the timeless cover by Alex Ross with the Namor, the Mighty Submariner. And I've got some people that want these covers, buying all of these covers, so we're going to have them set aside for them. But it's Fallout number one with Namor. This is an incentive cover, Mars Attacks Red Sonia. 
Number two, get your shot glasses out, people, and see how many shots you can take. And I think I see something else for the shop steward. There's his copy of Thor 1 that's going to be waiting for him. You know who you are. You know who you are. Join the future, number 5. Guess I'm going to make sure I've got an extra copy of that set aside. So I missed their number 4. Didn't know they wanted the number 4. We've got the 4 on back order trying to get that for him. Wellington, number 5 from IDW. Couple more copies of Ice Cream Man. Didn't have anybody pre order those, but that's cool. Here's the rest of my Ravencroft Fives. Last issue of that series. I know some happy, happy campers who are happy to get that series. Here's Captain Marvel Heroes at Home, number 21. I only bought these Heroes at Home uh, variants. I'm only buying like one copy, two copies. So. If you expect to come walking in on uh, Thursday, Friday or something, you're probably not going to be here. Cover C, Mars Attacks Red Sonja. Bam! Two shots. Take it like a man, Rocky. Strange Academy, issue two, third printing. Did not order many of those. Transformers Galaxy, number 9, cover B. Robin Hood Justice, issue 3, cover B. There will be a shelf copy of that going out. Fantastic Four, Fallout 1, variant copy. Almost looks like an Alex Ross cover. Got two men on the front there flying around. Here's the blank cover to Ultraman Rays of Ultraman 1. Blackwood, issue 4, The Morning After. Finally, Dark Horse is continuing to put out comics this week. Retailer Incentives on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 109. Star, number 5. This is the regular cover. Star number five. She's with the with Thanos's uh, little uh, boy band. Robin Hood, Justice issue three, cover A. Oblivion song twenty seven. And that's it for this box. I'm going to pause, grab the other box. Okay, let's see what else is in these boxes here. Let's see a Bill and Ted comic. I got some Bill and Ted comics in my $2 piles. This is issue one. Cover B. This is from Dark Horse. Bill and Ted are doomed, aren't we all? Fantastic Four Empire Fallout 1. Alan Davis variant. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 109 cover A. Turtles cover A. Here is Ash and Thorn. Issue 5 from Ahoy. Here is... The fourth printing of Thor, number three. I guess that's the way it should be presented. Smashing Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker got broke. Here's one copy of Star number five with Black Cat 
all by itself. The other copies are, again, it's so damn hard to try to keep these comics together, isn't it? So damn hard to put that one copy with the rest of them. So damn hard. I think uh, it's got something that, boy, just so damn hard. Blackwood number four, the morning after. That's cover B. We saw cover A already. The Resistance, issue five of six. Fantastic Four, Empire Fallout 1. This is the regular cover on that. Shock ending. Shock ending. You can watch it and see. But shock ending on that. The story was, eh. The story was, mm, this dance lot. Weak at best. Cover B. Mars Attacks Red Sonya 2. It's three shots. Drink them up, boys. Amazing Spider-Man number 48. Heroes at Home. Zombie Tramp number 73. Bam. Here's the issue. I'm sure I've got more of these someplace. Maybe not. Issue 21 of Captain Marvel. Variant cover. Thought I'd have more of those someplace. Maybe there is. Maybe there's not. Here's the Alex Ross cover on the Rise of Ultraman. The five ninety five five ninety nine book we should have did shots for those too. If you want to do shots for Ultraman instead of uh, uh, Mars attacks Red Sonya, you got roommates. Do shots. Who does the most shots? But that's th your three shots into uh, Ultraman now. Three shots in the Ultraman. I think four shots. No, three shots for uh, for the Red Sonya book. Zorro, issue one. True Believers. This reprints uh, Uncanny X-Men 211. These are a buck. A buck. I see here we have the variant cover of Web of Venom Wraith. So one shot. There's a 1 in 25, or is a 1 in 50 variant on that? Some, something like that. I think it's a 1 in 50. Yeah, it's a 1 in 50. Here's the regular... No, nope, this is another variant copy on... Captain Marvel 21. So there's at least two covers. Maybe you should do shots for Captain Marvel. Variant copy. Death to the Army of Darkness. This is issue four. Cover D. This is after Jim Lee. Maybe it's a Wildcats cover. Cyberpunk 2077, issue one. Don't have many of those ordered. So you might come out, come in and be out of luck. Stealth number five from Image. Avengers Empire Aftermath. Look, Mr. Fantastic and Shellhead have to uh, trim a tree. And that is the variant cover on that. Let's 
Star Wars Bounty Hunters 1. Third printing on that. Did not order many of those. So don't wait very long. Thor. Thor number four. This is a third printing on Thor number four. What's your, uh, go ahead and make your comments. What do you think of all of these third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 28th printings that Marvel likes to do? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Do you dig them? Do you buy them just to flip them? You know, what do you do with them? Do you like them because they're different covers? Take artwork on the inside. Usagi Ujimbo Color Classics number seven. Reaver, number 11 from Image. The variant cover, this is the Mark Bagley variant on Amazing Spider-Man 48. Time for Nick uh, Spencer to go. Bring back Roger Stern. Cover D of Robin Hood Justice, number 3. Here is the regular cover of Captain Marvel 21. Oh, the kill Carol off, I guess. Maybe that's what it is. Take a quick look at that. And let, me, uh, let me tell you, you better drop the taco before you get this book. Let's see. Oh, there's another... Get ready to drink. Get ready to do some shots. I want to say this is the 1 in 25 variant on Ultraman, Rise of Ultraman. So that's four shots for Ultraman. Bad Mother, number two. I can't remember if I was supposed to set a bad mother aside for somebody. Or if it's red mother. I think red mother comes out also. But we've got a copy of this set aside. Issue 5, Spider-Man the Black Cat Strikes. Part of the Gamerverse. Here's Avengers Aftermath. This is the A cover on that. That's the A cover. We got two covers so far. I see a GI Joe in here. I see X Factor in here. This GI Joe. This is cover A of issue two seventy four. They've gone back to a second printing on GI Joe. I'm not sure why. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Willow number three. This is the variant cover. Oh, five shots. Ultraman, Rise of Ultraman. This is a photo cover. Shop Stewart's going to be, he's going to be dropping a load this week. A load of uh, cash, that is. Vampire the Masquerade, issue two. Cover A. Vampire the Masquerade. Death to the Army of Darkness, number four, cover B. Zombie Tramp, number 73, family-friendly cover there. Bill and Ted are doomed. This is the Evan Dorkin cover on issue one. Evan Dorkin, dude, bring back milk and cheese. We need milk and cheese now more than ever. We need dairy products gone bad. You could make so much money, Evan. Bring back milk and cheese. Something is killing the children 10. High sales is killing the children. That's what's killing the children, people. X Factor 3. People don't seem to be digging X Factor too much. What do you guys think? Do you read it? Do you collect it? Do you not care about X Factor? 
Because I tell you with issue four you will, because that's it's a part of uh, X of Swords or Ten of Swords or whatever it's, Swords it is. Here's not the family friendly cover of Zombie Tramp. Death to the Army of Darkness 4. This is cover A. It's a big honking skeleton there. Avengers Aftermath. This is the Terry Dotson cover. Spidey and She-Hulk. She-Hulk looking like she should. Here's a... Uh, uh, let's see, this is issue 5 of Agres Kilio. Agres Sumo Rested Kessero. And the shop steward, he's going to like that too. Man, this is like six shots now. Ultraman, Rise of Ultraman 1 with Spidey on his shoulder. Because Spider Man is playing uh, his part as Ant Man or the Atom. Man, oh man. Transformers Galaxy number nine, cover A. New Mutants number 16, True Believers issue. It's a buck. Didn't order many of them, but it's a buck. There's one more copy of it. Here's Web of Venom, Wrath number number one. This is, I believe, the yeah, this is Kyle Holtz. Again, if you're friends with Kyle Holtz on Facebook, share this video, tag his name to it. Tell him JC says hi. We've got to find our one in fifty variant on that, wherever they hid that. I don't know if it's in here. I may not have hit it. This is the Avengers Empire Aftermath Thank You variant. The Alex Ross Thank You variant. Yeah. Here it is. Here's the one in 50. Look at him. He's on his bike. He's got his bad motor scooter. He's ready to ride. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Issue 109, cover B. Kevin Eastman cover. Got some monkey shines going on there. Marauders, number 12. How you guys digging Marauders? Glad Kitty's back. Here. There you go, finally. You get four shots now. So your fourth shot for... Uh, Mars Attacks Red Sonia, number two. This is cover A. So finally, you can, you guys that are doing shots for the Red Sonia book, you can finally do do a few more shots now. The, the uh, Ultraman people are getting all loopy. Oh, speaking of Ultraman, here's the Scotty Young cover. So this is like six, seven shots now. Man, you guys are getting tanked. Probably in the bag. Green Hornet, number two, cover B. X-Force, X-Force number 12. Did they ever explain, because they've killed off the mutants, they can kill mutants off and bring them back. And they brought Wolverine back after, uh, during, was it House of, uh, House of X or powers of X. They brought it back. What about the Antimantium? They bring it back with his Antimantium? How'd they explain that? Or did Hickman just not even address that? And the last of the stack of comics here. Here's Avengers Aftermath Avengers uh, 1. This is the the action figure variant. Here's Red Mother number eight from Boom Studios. I think I've got to put an extra Red Mother aside. So you got yourself a bad mother and a red mother. Where's the other mother? 
cover A of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Willow number three. Here's the David Mack cover of Vampire Masquerade. Cover B for the David Mack cover. And finally, Amazing Spider-Man 48, the regular cover. If you do like these videos, as always, be sure to, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like, be sure to share. Be sure to web up that and smash that bell for notifications. Other than that, have a great New Comics Wednesday. Thanks for watching.